are rehearsing. We hear them before we even get to the room. Michael Trotter Jr. is an Iraq War veteran who taught himself how to play piano in Iraq. Not a piano in one of Saddam Hussein's palaces. We were told of their talent, and we finally meet them. You were in one of Saddam's private palaces. Yes. Yes, Baghdad, Iraq. And still, you somehow found a way to make the music. Yep. There's a piano there. It belonged to him, and my captain suggested that I need to find my way back home. Just come down here, find your way. And I couldn't play, so I had to teach myself. And I remember teaching myself the only. Like so many others, Michael came home with PTSD, unable to forget who he lost. I can't get uh, Sergeant Perez. I can't get Aaron E. Lott, Robert Sheets, T-Boat. I can't get my, my guys out of my head right now. Those are all guys you lost? Yep. Yeah. He met his future wife, Tanya, after coming home. Talking to him and being able to spend time with him and help him understand that you did serve and you may not be able to see your scars, but you do have scars. Damn. We're performing at Bob Woodruff's Stand Up for Heroes. Our friend and colleague Bob, you remember, was badly injured by a roadside bomb in Iraq. Damn. His remarkable journey back. Amen. Seventeen years now, he and his wife standing up for heroes. They were moved by Michael and Tanya's music. The lyrics. The, the words. Serious. Yeah. Yes. And it is important to remember that there are words that we can't see. I think it's important to have someone like that who's open and honest to tell their stories so more people care. While back in that room. They give us a preview of the magic the audience was about to hear.